at this time, I invite everyone to stand to welcome our guests of honor, Second World War veterans, Sapper retired John L. Gates. Yesterday, we had the privilege of having with us Colonel Illuin from the French Embassy, who presented Mr. Date with the French Légion d'honneur, the highest award that can be given by the French government. Chief Warrant Officer retired Arthur Boone, Second World War veteran. The Allied situation in the spring of 1942 was grim. The Allied forces faced a well-entrenched enemy with virtually all of the continent under German occupation. A method had to be found to create a foothold in Europe. The raid on Dieppe, Operation Jubilee, would offer invaluable lessons that ultimately led to the success of D-Day. For 79 years, the city this county, this regiment, has come together to pay a debt, to recognize a loss of our men in this terrible event. And the debt coinage is remembrance. When this monument was being constructed, the people of Dieppe, an understanding of our need gave us a thousand pounds of red beach, beach stone. And it now constitutes the base from which this obelisk rises. Thinking they had the element of surprise on their side, the Allies expected to push the Germans from Dieppe without facing much resistance. Ready for the attack, they unleashed ferocious machine gun fire on the Allies as they came ashore and quickly our troops were overwhelmed. Courageously they fought to gain ground but all attempts to breach the seawall were beaten back with terrible casualties. And by early afternoon Operation Jubilee was over and for the Canadians the results were catastrophic. Lest we forget. Today on the 80th anniversary of the day of raid, as we gather to talk about war and sacrifice, loss and love, it is impossible not to think about what is happening in places like the Ukraine and the battles being fought around the world even now. And despite the best efforts of places like Windsor and Ontario and Canada to create welcoming multicultural communities, many people around the world continue to face war and adversity, hatred and discrimination. And this happens when the focus is on what divides us rather than what brings us together. Bye. Uh -huh. 